Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Vivan Education. In previous class, we discussed about uh, trigonometric identities and uh, complementary angles. If you missed that class, I give a link in description. You can check that one. Today, our topic is about uh, trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. So it is the last topic of uh, formulas. So about what uh, specific angles. So angles are uh, zero, thirty degrees, forty-five degrees, sixty degrees, and uh, ninety degrees. This uh, angles I took in a horizontal way and uh, ratios so sin, cos, tan, cot, second, cos, I took vertically. Okay. So if you know the values of sin from zero degrees to ninety degrees, uh, other uh, rest of uh, five ratios we can find out very easily. Okay. So first of all, we'll see how will you get the values of sin from zero to ninety degrees. Uh. So to find this one, we having different methods uh, like uh, fingers method uh, or uh, triangle method. Uh, we are having, but I am taking a uh, whole numbers process okay so what i'm doing uh, in step 1 i'm taking a uh, first five whole numbers taking first five whole numbers so what are the first five whole numbers uh, 0 1 2 3 and 4 are the first five whole numbers right so in step 2 in step 2 i'm dividing this whole numbers by 4 okay So this uh, five whole numbers I'm dividing by four. Now what will happen then? Zero by four, one by four, two by four, three by four, and a uh, four by four. Yes. So if uh, any cancellation possible means you can do here the two ones uh, and a uh, two twos uh, and a uh, four ones. Uh. So after simplification, what will get here? Zero by four indicates what? Zero. One by four. I'm writing same as this. This one how much you got here? One by two. And this one how much? Three by four, and this one is one. Okay. Now in step three, in step three, I'm applying square root to this uh, resulting numbers. Okay. I'm applying square root. Then what will happen here? Root zero comma root one by four, and root one by two, and root three by four, and uh, root one. Is it okay? Yes. Now see what is the value of root zero. Root zero value nothing but again zero only. Okay. Now here what is it? Root one by four. So root one by four we can written as what? Uh, root one by root four, right? Because of the formula root a root a by b is equals to root a by root b. Yes. So this one I am writing as root one by root four. We know root one is a perfect square. What is the value of root one? One. So one. And a root four also a perfect square. What is the value? Two. Because root is a four, right? The two square means four, and uh, root one by two. Nothing but uh, root one by root two. Root one is a perfect square. The value is one. Root two is an irrational number. I am writing as this. Is it okay? Next, root three by four. Nothing but we can write as root three by root four. Root three is an irrational number. I am writing same. And where root four is a perfect square, the value what is it? Two. And uh, we know that uh, root one is a perfect square. The value is what one. Okay, so this uh, after simplification, what we got here? This uh, values I am considering as a sine. Nothing but uh, sine zero. I am writing as zero. Sine thirty. I am writing as one uh, by two. Sine forty five. I am writing as one uh, by root two. Sine sixty. I am writing as uh, root three by two. Sine ninety as what one? We got yes. So, so if you know this sine means uh, the rest of the ratios, we can find out very easily. Okay, so to get the cos value, sir, just I am doing. Uh, I am writing reverse order of sine. I will will get the cos. Reverse order means what here? One. Nothing but next one is what? Root three by two. Next one is what? One by root two. Next one is what? One by two. Next one is what? Zero. Just say to get reverse order of sine. So we what we got here? Cos. Sir. That indicates what? Uh, cos zero is equals to sine ninety. Cos thirty is equals to sine sixty, and cos forty five is equals to sine forty five, and cos sixty is equals to sine thirty, and cos ninety is equals to sine zero. You understand? Yes. Just said okay. Reverse order. Then tan. Tan we know. How will you find tan? Means we know if you divide a uh, sine and cos. If you divide sine and cos, we'll get tan. Okay. If you want to find tan zero, if you want to find tan zero, we know that the tan is equal tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta, isn't it? If you want to find tan zero degrees, you have to divide sine zero by cos zero. Yes. So what value is zero by one? Zero by one. What value is zero? 
because one zero is zero, right? So we got the zero here. Did you understand? Next step, if you want to tan 30, tan 30 value, if you want to want tan 30, you have to do sin 30 by cos 30. Sin 30 value is what is the value here? 1 by 2 by cos 30 value root 3 by 2. Yes, now what will happen? 1 by 2, it becomes what? Reciprocal 2 by root 3. 2, 2 will be cancelled and what is the answer? 1 by root 3. So tan value what? The? Tan 30 value 1 by root 3. Okay. Tan 45. Tan 45 is what is sin 45 by cos 45. Nothing but what is there? 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2. So same terms will be cancelled. Then what is the answer? 1. So tan 45 indicates what? 1. Now tan 60. Tan 60 value what is there? Sin 60 by cos 60. Nothing but root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2. So root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2 and 2 to get cancelled. Then what is the answer? Root 3 by 1. Nothing but what is the answer? Root 3. So tan 60 value what? root 3 and tan 90 nothing but sin 90 by cos 90 1 by 0 so 0 into something is always 0 in 0 table 1 it is possible no so the what it is not to define nothing but infinite or not to define let you understand so now we have to find cot we know that uh, multiplicativeness of tan nothing but 1 by tan what will you get here cot so 1 by tan nothing but 1 by 0 is what uh, infinite and uh, reverse nothing but uh, multiple inverse of tan nothing but cot reverse of one, root 1 by 3 becomes what root 3 and uh, reverse of 1 nothing but 1 by 1 nothing but 1 1 by 10 nothing but 1 by root 3 nothing but again what will you get here again 1 by root 3 only and uh, cot cot 9 nothing but 1 by infinity 1 by infinity nothing but uh, 0 yes is it okay we know that uh, second now we have to find second second nothing but uh, multiplicate inverse of cos nothing but 1 by cos 1 by cos nothing but reciprocal of 1 nothing but 1 reciprocal of root 3 by 2 nothing but 2 by root 3 reciprocal of 1 by root 2 is root 2 reciprocal of 1 by 2 is 2 reciprocal of 0 nothing but 1 by 0 nothing but again not to define or infinity okay and cosecant nothing but 1 by sin multiplicativeness of sin nothing but cosecant nothing but 1 by 0 indicates what in not to define and 1 by 2 reciprocal what? 2. 1 by root 2 reciprocal what? Root 2. And root 3 by 2 reciprocal what? 2 by root 3. And reciprocal of 1 nothing but 1 by 1 gets what? 1. Yes. These are the trigonometric angles. The values of the trigonometric angles. Those are 0, 30, 45, 60 and 90 degrees. If you know the sign value, rest of we can find out very easily. Okay. So I took a whole number process to find the angles of trigonometry okay i hope you got it thank you so much